Hallo, ich bin Marie-Louise Herrmann, Produzentin der Serie Composer Genau und Mitbegründerin der Everyone Company Dresden. In den letzten drei Monaten haben wir drei Folgen dieser Serie präsentiert, die sich auf eine ganz besondere Art und Weise mit den Themen Komposition und Theater beschäftigt und sich dabei auf Personen und Situationen rund um unsere Company bezieht. Was für manche Zuschauer vielleicht nicht sofort ersichtlich wird, ist, dass alle Szenen musikalisch komponierte Werke sind, die zu einem vorher aufgenommenen Soundtrack in Stille, also pantomimisch dargestellt werden. Sie beinhalten komplexe Bearbeitungen von Geräuschen und Stimmen sowie eine präzise Choreografie. In diesem Extra von Composer Genau wollen wir einen Blick auf die Ursprünge dieser Technik und die Arbeit des Komponisten John Moran werfen. Dafür begeben wir uns in eine Zeit zurück, in der das Internet und sogar der PC noch lange nicht der breiten Masse zur Verfügung standen. Es war im New York City der 1980er Jahre, als der 23-jährige John Moran in der Musik- und Theaterwelt für Aufsehen sorgte, nachdem er aus Tonspuren der Fernsehserie The Jack Benny Program ein Bühnenstück schuf, das er selbst als Oper bezeichnete. Well, honey, you're not supposed to come up here on the stage in the middle of a show, you know. I'm sorry, Mr. Benny, but I thought maybe you'd let me have your autograph. Well, I'll give it to you as soon as the show is over. Okay. So just go back and then come back later. I'm... Oh, wait a minute, as long as you were here. <laughs> come here, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you now. What is your, what is your name? Tony Marcus. Tony, Tony Marcus, that's a cute name. Isn't? And Mr. Benny, What? I'm sorry I interrupted you. Because I love to hear you play the violin. Do you really? Yes, I listen to you all the time. And Mr. Benny, What? I'm sorry I interrupted you. Because I love to hear you play the violin. Do you really? Yes, I listen to you all the time. And Mr. Benny, What? I'm sorry I interrupted you. Because I love to hear you play the violin. Do you really? Yes, I listen to you all the time. And Mr. Benny, What? I'm sorry I interrupted you. Because I love to hear you play the violin. Do you really? Yes, I listen to you all the time. No. Beeinflusst von den frühen Tape-Loop-Experimenten von Steve Reich wurde Moran in Amerika als Protégé des Komponisten Philip Glass bekannt. Obwohl diese Arbeitsweise heute weit verbreitet ist, war das Publikum der 80er Jahre von der Idee einer Aufführung mit vorher aufgezeichneten Sounds geradezu schockiert. Oh, by the way, you know, I used to have a lot of trouble with Giselle McKenzie. Hinzu kam, dass das Prinzip der musikalischen Wiederholung sowie die Verwendung von Schleifen oder Loops auf Bewegungen und Handlungen, sogenannten Loops of Action, angewendet wurde. Okay. Oh, by the way, darling, how old are you? Twelve years old. Twelve years old. <laughs> All right. We'll play Getting to Know You. Oh, by the way, you know, I used to have a lot of trouble with Giselle McKenzie when we played that number. See, she used to show off and do a lot of tricks and everything to upset me, see? So don't just play the, the counter melody. Just straight. No tricks or anything, huh? You promise? Yes. You won't show off with it or anything like she did. Just straight, huh? You know, it's beautiful counter melody. No tricks. All right. Let's turn off. Give me A, will you please? That's close enough. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, darling, how old are you? Twelve years old. Twelve years old. <laughs> All right. We'll play Getting to Know You. Please. Oh, by the way, you know, I used to have a lot of trouble with Giselle McKenzie. When we played that number, see, she used to show off and do a lot of tricks and everything to upset me, see. So don't just play the, the counter melody, just straight, no tricks or anything, huh? You promise? Yes. You won't show off with it or anything like she did, just straight, huh? You know, it's beautiful counter melody, no tricks. All right. Let's turn off, give me A, will you please? That's close enough. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Oh, by the way, Donnie, how old are you? Twelve years old. Twelve years old. <laughs> All right. <laughs> In 1990 wurde Moran vom Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts für seine zweite Oper The Manson Family beauftragt. Eine Aufnahme des Werkes wurde 1991 von Philip Glass unter anderem mit dem Sänger Iggy Pop produziert. Das Album wurde so kontrovers diskutiert, dass es das erste Parental Advisory Label der USA erhielt. Me, girls, I'm going out for a pet <laughs> and it's full I've been trying to help you I'd get through that, Red. I've been trying to help you I'd see you in September or something. But it's in your programming. Your programmers were programmed and that's just like you. <laughs> Shit. It's easy to be here in the now. It's like I was just... Whoa, hell, I'm on the fucking planet, man! We're all falling in the same submarine of a solar system. When are you gonna give all that fear to me? Catch me, girls. I'm going out for a path. <laughs> And it's the law. I've been trying to help you, I'd get through that, Red. I've been trying to help you, I'd see you in September or something. But it's in your program. So... How's that sound to you, asshole? You can tell me every time I'm down here if I'm on it or not, okay? You can tell me every fucking time when I'm on this fucking planet whether I'm fucking on it or not. Is that what you want? Would that make you happy? Stupid fucking asshole! You can tell me every fucking time when I'm on this fucking planet whether I fucking know this or not! Musikalisch war das Werk deutlich weiterentwickelt als Jack Benny, da der Soundtrack nicht mehr ausschließlich auf Tonmaterial aus Film und Fernsehen basierte. It's a wave, mother! Is that what it is you want? Is that what I kept on to? Ah! It's a wave, mother! And the world rests on the planet of your bullshit, mother Tucker! I'm in in den folgenden Jahren entziehen sich Morans Werke weiterhin jeglicher Einordnung in die gängigen Kategorien, indem sie komplexe Sequenzen aus Choreografie, Schauspiel und Sounddesign zu einem musikalischen Ganzen vereinen. Hi, my name is Roger. Sometimes I don't think so good, but I am learning to be smart. My teacher, Mrs. Abernathy, says I have many qualities. And cold in the Northern Rocky Mountain State. I can tell when they are laughing at me. Thank God when the school bell rings, I'm in the own backyard. And cold in the Northern Rocky Mountain State. Very Rather than money. I can tell when they are laughing at me. Thank God when the school bell rings, 
I'm in the own backyard. Come on, go, kid. I got it. I got it. Okay. I'm going between the job, my phone, the kids. Sometimes I get this pain. Now's the time for an Excedrin headache. Headache pain relief. Hang on. And cold in the Northern Rocky Mountain State. Come on, let's go, kid. I got it. I got it. Okay, my turn. My little baby. <laughs> my little baby. <laughs> well, kids, it's time for another half hour of your favorite cartoons with almost half off. Cold in the Northern Rocky Mountain State. Very self. Then we have defeated. Ich glaube, da hatte ich noch was, noch was anderes gemeint, nämlich wenn man sich ein, ein Bild ähm, anguckt oder eine musikalische Arbeit, ist, ist oft die Kritik nicht, da sind irgendwie ganz gute Ideen, aber das, ähm, da fehlt so ein bisschen die Konsequenz, das, da, da fehlt die ähm, Prägnanz, nicht? also da gibt es irgendwie was Eigenes, nicht? was wirklich zu diesem Künstler gehört, wo man merkt, da spricht jemand und das ist nicht einfach nur äh, ein sozialer Stil, der, der gepflegt wird, sondern das ist wirklich eine Person, die ganz besondere Erfahrung einer Person im Ansatz, aber es ist eine, es ist eine Seltenheit, also dass ein, ein so hohes Niveau auch der Entschiedenheit der, der und Prägnanz in diesem okay. Ausdruck entsteht. Watch. Watch. Ready? You ready? 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 Okay. In den 1990er Jahren hatte Morans Arbeit einen solchen Einfluss auf die New Yorker Kunstszene, dass sein Name zum Synonym für die Idee wurde, in der sich die Figuren in sich wiederholenden Handlungsschleifen oder Loops of Action befinden. Sie wurde zum Zeitgeist und zog in die Popkultur ein. Im Jahr 2000 waren die Produktionen von Morans Werken so umfangreich geworden, dass sie jahrelanger Vorbereitungen und erheblicher finanzieller Mittel bedurften. Als Reaktion darauf nahm seine Arbeit eine überraschende Wendung. Er kehrte mit einem stark vereinfachten Performance-Stil und einer neuen Bühnenpartnerin, der Tänzerin Sauri Tsukada, in die wachsende Burlesque-Szene von Brooklyn zurück. Hello everyone, and uh, we are John Moran and his neighbor Saudi. So, anyway, uh, this is our first time here, and this is my neighbor, John Moran. Hey, uh, ow, just a minute, come here, what are you doing? I first came across John's work actually on video, a uh, film he'd made of Thanks a theater show. No. And uh, um, yeah. I remember very well the moment uh, where I no, realized that, that freaked me out. <laughs> the opening scene, the first part of the opening scene was being repeated. <laughs> I, uh, and what had seemed to be this very careless opening scene, very vague. The know, guy didn't seem to know what he was hard. doing. He kept forgetting things, know. apparently. Guys. He kept dropping things. <laughs> didn't it, quite seem to know what was rough. going on. Uh, But far from being vague, this was all very, very, very precisely coordinated and choreographed. <laughs> I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> That's the show, folks. <laughs> And uh, the moment of realizing this, What? you realize something very special is going on. It's a really new kind What? of theater. No, wait, I back. haven't encountered anything What like that. What? You think we're doing a show? She, you guys don't know it, but she's like looking at me. And it's freaking me out. Are you still? Hi. 
Oh, come on, don't be mad. Okay. Um, we got a deal. Hang on. Look, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Look. I'm doing this. Look. Thing. Look. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> I just don't want to talk about it. I hate doing the show. I'm not on drugs. <laughs> um, Hi, is Michael there? Look. Now <laughs> for my next number. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I'm doing it. Okay. I just uh, don't want to talk about it. I'm not on drugs. Hi, is Michael there? Look. I just don't want to talk about it. I'm not on drugs. Hi, is Michael there? Look. Hit the party scene. Can you hold on one second? Well, sure. I know you got some other customers over here. Here you go. Who's this DJ? Red boy. Red boy. People Red talk boy. a lot about Red boy. Um, Red boy. John's it's association with Philip wow. Glass, who was a kind of mentor, as I understand it's it. Seven, but seven, I think his seven. real precursor is John oh, right. Cage. So for John Thank Cage, all, all things are potential material for music. I think John really took that um, and realised that by applying musical discipline to any sound or any movement or any words that you could make a theater out of so out of these there's things. this guy over there who will not stop talking to me and he works for bell atlantic <laughs> and he's trying but to... is it cool is it well, right? no it's fine i mean he's harmless but it's just like well i'm hanging for a while if you need anything i'm around yeah. anyway it's just nice i'm glad you're here if the worm turns hey Lane. I you get so angry when it comes to noise yeah. or uh, car music. Uh. Her music, wait. What's up with that? I tried to get it because... <laughs> What's wrong with you? See, now Bach is at 68 beats per minute, right? Yeah, but it's just a noise everybody makes outside. Sorry. Is it 68 <laughs> beats per minute, right? And yeah, she's locked in. They're, they're different. To the to they the to the Goldberg creation. like that. They just do. That's how they are. What can you say? What can you do with it? <laughs> and I made this portrait of her. Don't be so angry. You can't do anything with it. Telling me that. Right? <laughs> Right, people? <laughs> and she's done it thousands of times. You're so impatient. That's not theater, that's my <laughs> life. Am I right? <laughs> so I came to Brooklyn in the aughts. I moved there with the performance artist Aaron Markey. And when I arrived, there was really a lot of things happening in clubs that were like these resuscitated resurrected um, art forms such as cabaret and burlesque that had been resurrected I think with some degree of um, irony and a kind of embrace of, of the kitschness of it but was also um, you know people were also working within very uh, narrow parameters for the most part and John and his neighbor Sawi were doing something there which was uh, structured and had the kind of aesthetic of a cabaret show you know it used direct address there were entertaining kind of sketches um, but at the same time it was completely deep you know like defamiliarized and you had no idea 
what was live and what wasn't. Things you thought had been live were revealed and, and were like chaotic were revealed to be um, not live, hyperstructured compositions that were impeccably executed. And um, so the whole the whole thing was it was the best thing that Aaron and I had ever seen. Ähm, es gibt so Musikkritiker, die Adi Johns Arbeit beschreiben. Das fiel mir auf, als die Kritik von der Manson Family gerade rauskam. Dann gab es so, also was machen die Leute auf der Bühne? Und dann wurde die Musik beschrieben. Ja, aber die ist ja ein bisschen profan. Das ist ja irgendwie so, äh, so Hollywood-mäßig oder irgendwie, äh, ja, was ist denn daran jetzt modern oder was ist denn daran neue Musik? Ich, wie bescheuert. Das ist ja nur... Ein Trick, das ist ja gar nicht die Musik. Die Musik ist das Ganze, was er da komponiert hat. Und diese, diese, ja, diese Harmonien, die man vielleicht kennt, die vielleicht nicht neu sind oder sowas, das sind nur so falsche Pferden, wo er uns auf Abwege führt, was Musik für uns bedeutet. Aber das Ganze, was er macht, ist Musik. So, is it on? Is it there? Yeah. Okay. So, so, I'm, I'm making portraits of like, of like whatever's around okay like 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 whatever you know i'm seeing the most when it's time to like make a thing i'm i'm going to like recreate it you know like uh i made a portrait of a cat because there's this cat around all the time when i'm right now so hang on hang on Okay. Okay, is it? There it is. There it is. Okay. So like here's the sound of the cat walking. Listen. Okay, that's on one key. And then here's another sound of him walking. Right? That's actually a dog. That's a dog, but okay. And there's some more. And then and then I and then and then I sampled the actual cat. Okay, I sampled him and I got this one and this one and, and this one <laughs> and then uh, and then here's a this isn't him. Okay. <laughs> it's a pup. It's like a sound puppet and and uh uh What was I saying? Oh, so I only got that. Uh, that's it. <laughs> no, uh, I, I only got that, and I got, uh, oh, and I got me. I got me. I go like, I go, I go. Like that. Right? I answered the door. <laughs> and so, and so, like, there's, like, okay, so, like, listen, like, watch, okay, watch. Hey, 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 hi, 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 how are you? It's cold, it's cold, come in. Come in, come in, come in. I'm in the back. I'm in here. Hey, how you doing? Come down. You're in Amsterdam. We made it. We both made it. It's a nice in der Probenarbeit für die Bewegung nice weiß ich noch, dass wir manchmal lange auch an einer Bewegung waren, um genau rauszufinden, wie die sein muss, weil es sind ja eigentlich gerade in Everyone viele ähm, Alltagsbewegungen eigentlich, wo man ja sagt, ah okay, dann stellt man halt den Teller hin und fertig, aber so ist es nicht, es brauchte 
äh, immer noch was extra, damit man als Zuschauerin versteht, dass es dieses Abstellen des Tellers hat und damit es auch mit dem Sound zusammen wirklich so ist, dass man das Gefühl hat, es ist realistisch, auch wenn wir es eigentlich von der Bewegung her nicht realistisch genau gemacht haben. Okay. 2019 wurde Morans jüngste Bühnenarbeit mit dem Titel Everyone vom Europäischen Zentrum der Künste Hellerau, dem Schauspiel Leipzig und Heike Ikola produziert, welche schließlich zur Gründung der Everyone Company Dresden führte. We're coming to you. Let's go, gentlemen, quickly! Give him hell, man! Anyways, um, 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 thanks, Katie. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they. Come Anyways, um, um, we're coming to you. Um, let's go, gentlemen, quickly. Thanks, Give him hell, man. With you, with you, with you. Too late. Oh, yeah. Man, man. Oh. 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 Oh
كان تعال يا جوام وعندك بدر صباجي اوكي اساسي تعال تعال اقول لك تعال هاي اوكي يلا انا تعال عين Oh, dear Lord, oh Lord. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. 